Are exams more important than your life? On what extent can you go to follow a timetable? What if you have to choose between your marks versus your family's health? On one hand, we are asking people to stay at home and on the other hand, we are forcing 15 lakh students to give their board exams. India is recording 3 lakh cases every day. In such a situation, is conducting exams which gathers a lot of crowd a wise idea? The question is valid. And also, these exams haven't been postponed for multiple times. If COVID doesn't go away, are we going to waste our entire year? So today, let's not only ask these questions, but also talk about the solutions. And the solution is very simple. It's a simple number. Why are the students not ready to give their exams? Why are the AP students are not ready to give their board exams? In fact, all the students are not ready to give their board exams. Point number one, safety transport. In order to give their examination, students have to travel for at least half an hour to one and a half hour in order to reach their centers. That's India's current reality. There are many students, but there are only few centers. Public transport is still not back to normal. Not everyone can afford a private car. Social distancing is a myth. There are chaos in exams and extra precautions are really necessary. Just making students to write exams by leaving a bench empty is not enough. Many students will not travel alone. They will be putting their parents' lives at risk. And we are not prepared for it. Point number two, some unanswered questions. If a student comes to an exam hall with some high temperature, then what is his condition? Entry protocols may be okay, but what about the protocols or social distancing while leaving? We think those boxes outside the shops are rangolis and we take everything so lightly. And what about the students who are suffering with asthma? Can they wear masks for three long hours? In AP, only 14 centers can offer the freedom to write exams. Unless centers increase, how can social distancing be followed? And when we have these many problems, is asking to cancel or postpone the exams a valid question? Number three, unfair advantage. We have to admit it, the biggest victim of COVID is our economy. So directly or indirectly, poor people are suffering. If the exam happens, and if many of them can't appear to the examination hall just because they are COVID positive or unhealthy, and the students who are completely healthy, do they have a fair advantage? If someone have a private car, they can at least have a chance. They can at least try to give an exam. And if some are very poor, they can't even think to go to the examination because they'll be risking their lives as well as their parents' family's life. Okay, let's see the other side of the argument. The solutions. Should the exams be postponed? If yes, it will. There is only one simple answer. Until we get safe SOP. Until exam centers increase. Until there is a proper facility of transport. And until safety gets more importance than marks. We understand that postponing exams or cancelling the exams are not feasible. We also have to understand the problem of the system and the timetable too. We came to a conclusion not just by being emotional or looking at the outrage on video. But by looking at this number, it means effective reproduction number. If this number is greater than 1, then that means that one COVID positive patient is affecting more than one person. And the cases are growing exponentially. If this number is consistently below 1, then we can say that COVID cases are well under control. Statistically speaking, if there is a mega event, then there will be a spike in COVID cases. That's why exams or any other mega event that gathers a lot of people matters to students and matters to the government. Without setting this number and if we are posting our opinions then it's no better than a fluke. Students are the future. It is important to have a conversation with them. It is important to understand their problems. And if I'm thinking this much, our system can think a lot better than me. So if you agree with me, tag your friends, tag your influencers and share this video as much as possible. Because right now we need to implement the solutions rather than talking about them. This COVID situation is a test for us. Only when we emphasize with each other, we can solve this test. One of us maybe can't make a difference, but all of us can make a difference. And there's just one small difference between those two. And that's the reason why it makes a difference.